So a huge week coming up for Bitcoin. We've got the much anticipated CPI reading, which could set our path for the next few weeks here on Bitcoin. Last week was a great week for Bitcoin, rallying up quite positively up towards 21 and a half thousand on Bitcoin. What are the key levels in the charts? What levels do we need to reclaim? And I've got another warning for you guys because there's something on the horizon. As one issue resolves itself, another one seems to crop up. So we're going to look into that as well. So smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as always. If you want to buy any crypto, check out the links in the description to buy bit or bit get. Those are the two platforms I personally use to trade. So if you guys are looking for a platform to trade, claim those bonuses, trade with them and see if you like that platform. Now, as you can see here, an amazing week here on Bitcoin. I'm sitting here on the four hourly chart and just looking at how powerfully we bounced here from the bottom of our channel. And look how, how our channels are being respected here, guys. This was a channel we've had drawn for many, many weeks here. And as you can see, it bounced off beautifully. And now we're working to the next key level here, which is that 22,000 level on the top of our channel. This is a really important level. You can see the last time we touched it, that's when we fell, entered our symmetrical triangle, and then fell to the bottom of the channel. So we've got to consolidate here, as you can see going on, and you've got to push beyond 22,000 and hold that. I'm going to share with you a bunch of other key levels, including on the weekly chart as well. But before then, let's remind ourselves of what happened on the equity markets because we finished the week positive. Yes, we finished the week positive because the market saw the Chinese producer price index inflation and they're starting to say that, look, the global economy is slowing down. We're seeing inflation improve in China. Maybe the Fed needs to start pivoting. So This is what's causing some of the positivity in the market. Nonetheless, the market still has priced in, 91% of the market has priced in a 75 basis point rate hike. So they're expecting Jerome Powell, not this week coming, but the week following, because this week we get our CPI reading, we also get our Michigan sentiment survey, and then the following week on the 21st of September, we'll get the FOMC meeting where the majority of the market is expecting 75 basis point rate hike. But the interesting thing is what comes for the next meeting, because a lot of people, including myself now, are starting to think that if CPI starts to show an improving trend, and I'm going to explain shortly what I mean by an improving trend, then we could, this could be the last 75 basis point rate hike we have. But there's a red herring in the mix. And I've got to explain this as well, because I know this is getting more and more complicated. But literally, as one issue starts to show some improvement, we're seeing something else crop up. And we're thinking, OK, we're starting to see an improving underlying trend in inflation. But now we need to flip our attention to what could be the worst energy crisis. This issue between Ukraine and Russia is leaving us weeks away from not having the right resources in Europe to cope with this winter. And why could that be a big issue? Well, think about it. The knock-on effects will cause more inflation. I mean, on top of the, the hardship and the pain it's going to cause a lot of Europeans, uh, if Russia restrict the flow of their pipeline, that's going to cause huge pressure on inflation, which is going to put us back at square one, where these rate hikes, including Europe, who just announced their 75 base point rate hike, continues to cause a problem. And again, that's going to be full to power the dollar index, and you guys know I've been talking about this dollar index, until this dollar index doesn't cool down, and if it continues to get reason to pump to the upside, this will be the bane of Bitcoin's existence for now. And we're seeing it's showing continued strength here from the dollar index. And what we can see here, this is on the daily chart, let's just get zoomed in a little bit here. I mean, you can see how much it's roaring, and it's just created its higher high, and it's come down to cool down to its EMA ribbon. And what have I continually warned of? I've said, yes, whilst this cools off to its EMA ribbon, Bitcoin can have a good couple of days, right? The last three days here, the dollar index has been falling. Less fear in the market. But we have to remember there's a big difference between dollar index having a couple of days calling off and then doing that versus actually losing its EMA ribbon and going on a sustained move to the downside. This would be great for Bitcoin. This is where you could get caught out because you go post your higher high. It happened exactly here. Okay, It went and it just posted a new higher high. And when you zoom out, dollar index continues to... More macroeconomic uncertainty there is the stronger dollar index will be. So we have to be very cognizant of this. This could be the next um, big frontier that's causing downward pressure on crypto is that if this uh, energy crisis doesn't resolve itself, and I'm thinking within the next three to four weeks, if these politicians don't come up with some sort of a settlement or some sort of agreement that allows that gas to keep flowing through into Europe, this could be a big problem coming into the back end. And now the reason that's particularly annoying is if you were to park that issue and just look at the data we have so far, it would be enough to suggest that we're seeing an improving trend, right? We saw the high of 9.1 CPI. We dropped that down to 8.5 in the last reading. This is why the market got a little bit happy. 
Now we need to see CPI on Tuesday. On Tuesday, we get the next reading see that come down again we want to see this inflect down again can it be 8.3 can it be 8.2 if it is the market's going to feel really positive about that because it shows that what jerome powell is doing in terms of his rate hikes is working and he's therefore needs to start thinking about pivoting instead of crushing the economy remember it's this careful seesaw of bringing down inflation without damaging the labor market and damaging your economy and this is what the fed has to do now what we don't want to see is this coming higher than 8.5 and god forbid if it comes back up at that nine level right that's going to panic the markets that's going to spook the markets and something like that could even start making the market price in a hundred basis point rate hike maybe if that happens suddenly jerome powell would have to bring back maybe a hundred basis points because what we've seen therefore is it's not working because we had one inflection down from 8.5 to 8.3 then we went and posted a higher higher in inflation so it looked like it was improving and it didn't and then it looks like it's proven so if we get another higher number that is going to panic the markets quite badly so we need to see this come down even if it's like 8.4 8.3 fine be really good if it comes down to that 8.2 8.1 level and the markets can rejoice over that data interestingly we're seeing fear and greed index go up to 26 that makes complete sense we know that this is a really good measure of the kind of retail foma right the the unsophisticated investor let's call it somebody who's just looking at the price and based on price they judge their fear and greed and we can see obviously where bitcoin is sitting back at these levels of 21 and a half compared to where we were hovering around 18,700. you can see why there's a lot more greed coming into the market now speaking of this uh, saturday uh, sunday we're on here we need to focus on this ema ribbon because as you can see we're trying to close our daily ema ribbon bullish okay if i zoom in there you can see ever so faintly there the ema ribbon if i show you the exact number is sitting there at twenty one thousand seven hundred. we're currently sitting just shy of that we're about 50 dollars short or so off closing this ema ribbon bullish on the daily chart so this will be a good level for us to close bullish and could set us up for a powerful move through twenty two thousand. that is what we need to see on bitcoin on the daily chart if i go backwards a little bit to the four hourly chart you can see a nice move here we're well above our ema ribbon don't be surprised on the four hourly chart to see a little bit of a calling off right this is a big extended move and you're seeing a consolidation here but we've not come back down to retest the ema ribbon whatsoever so it's still showing sustained strength by the balls that the bears haven't been able to at least go and retest the ema ribbon there now zoom out let me show you what i'm seeing here on the weekly because this is the big pattern we need to worry about right this is the weekly pattern which is going to tell us can we actually actually get out of this mess is this actually us creating a bottom and you guys will remember i shared with you this pattern uh, a couple of days ago and i was sharing this double bottom pattern with you now for this to be a double bottom i went through the scenarios in the video but in essence you need a big extended move you need to create your bottom and bounce and then you need to get rejected from a level like we got rejected here from 24 and a half and get sent back down this low has to be within four to five percent of the previous low which we've got and then what you need to do is go back up to your neckline and you create a w or a double bottom pattern and when you do so you can take a breakout to the upside okay so that can give us a nice breakout to the upside if you want to take the measured move of such a move we could just do it like so and take uh let me just do this just there and you want to take that and you put it at the point of your breakout if you put that at the point of your breakout that brings you up to about thirty-one thousand here on bitcoin but we're far away from doing that in order to achieve that we have to first get to 24 and a half we have to get to this green line and then we can worry about a breakout with a retest and start working towards this pattern but i've got one big warning for you guys and the warning comes because we've seen this pattern before and i know it's a nice pattern to, for everybody to talk about that it's a double bottom pattern let's not jump the gun here because we have done so previously i want to show you exactly what happened on the previous attempt and the previous attempt we saw was this double bottom right here okay this was also a double bottom can you see this pattern? let me just get the brush this was a double bottom okay you created this double bottom but then what happened we got thrown back to the downside the bears continued to be in control so we don't want to follow that same uh, path again we have to pay respect to the bears i keep saying this pay respect to the bigger trend at least at this point look how close we were into flipping our weekly candle this was a big move to the upside guys and yet the bears still came in and threw us with multiple horrible weeks to the downside right so at least what we're seeing there was we were into ema here we are very far even if we break our neckline we're just touching the very early stages of our ema ribbon so let's pay respect to the bears but we can still take this step by step to see does the macroeconomics conditions improve this week do we get a favorable cpi reading does the michigan sentiment survey come in positive remember the michigan sentiment survey which comes out on friday gives you a clue of what consumer expectations are for inflation 
Okay, and I shared with you that the break-even rate, the Treasury five-year break-even rate, is starting to come back to the Fed level of between two and two and a half percent inflation rate. And Jerome Powell will be looking at that data as well. Okay, so really big week this week. Can Bitcoin maintain this momentum? We're going to have to watch out a bunch of key macroeconomic conditions. And also this energy crisis continues to loom in the background, which if this resolution doesn't sort itself in a couple of weeks, could really be starting to put some more pressure on us through this winter period. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash up the like button and subscribe if you appreciate these types of updates. Even on the weekend, let me know in the comments. Go watch this Polygonmatic video here and I'll see you in the next one.